welcome back once again to One Foot Production. I am Elric. This is Gary Eldred. What is going on? What's going on, Gary? How's it going, guys? Alrighty, whoops, another day, another freaking video. So, what's up today? Now, check it out. You guys have seen me doing a bunch of stuff with Joyo. So, why not? We've got a bunch of Joyo pedals. Let's keep showing you stuff. Because why? Because Joyo stuff that's high quality German engineering made in China. So basically you get that Chinese price and the German engineering, which is a you know great thing of both worlds. Right off the bat, we want to say thanks to Henning and Jerome for providing us these pedals for the review today. And today we're checking out which is something really cool. This is the D seed delay pedal. Now this thing's cool because it's programmable and it offers you two settings in one pedal. Now, a lot of people would like that. I like it a lot because sometimes when I'm doing hammer-ons, I like one sound, and sometimes I like slapback when I'm playing other stuff. With this pedal, you can get them both. Now, Gary's playing a guitar that we call The Prince. This is our guitar that is sponsored by Fishman. By the way, awesome. I'm going to be established as a Fishman artist. You guys will see me on their website and stuff in the next few days, which is awesome. And uh, inside of it, we've got their Fishman Fluence pickups. Now the guitar here is, uh, this is an EC-1000T, it's a very nice guitar, it's, <laughs> a lot of people think that in some ways it's actually better than a Gibson. I'm not going to say that because we've had a few problems with these guitars with neck warping and such and the Gibson guitars, I don't really think they do that, not as much, so you get what you pay for. I actually get this guitar for cheap, it's an artist, 600 bucks, I mean, can't beat this, thing's like 1200 bucks online. And the pickups are awesome, provided by Fishman. But today we're going to be talking about the D seed pedal. So we just like to explain the rest to you. And a lot of people want to know what our drive chain is. So we're using the Ignator. We are using the Ignator Vengeance. We are also using my Hughes Kettner Dual 12 speakers. These are the Vintage 30s, 16 ohm. And into it, we're going into the Mac. And we are once again using something from those lovely people. And what is that thing over there? So iRig Pro, right? iRig Pro. So once again, we're using the iRig Pro. Thank you very much, Star. Sorry, it's a lot of talking in the very beginning, but sorry, we want don't want to not thank the proper people. So with that said, though, let's uh, take a quick look at the pedal. So the pedal offers four settings on the top. You get the mix, mode, time, and feedback. On the side, you get the in button and an external switch button. Now the external switch button is for those people who want to use time tapping. You know, so if you like your delay to do time tapping. But there is one thing that's a little bit negative out there, one caveat, it only does it in even numbers. So if uh, using something other than even numbers is your thing, then this won't do it for you. On the other side, we see the out button and the DCN. And then obviously once more in the front, we see the channel and the bypass. And this thing's really simple and simple to program. And as we're doing the video, we'll show you just how simple it is to program and use. Now, right now we're starting off on the A channel. And right now I just think this is one of the settings that just sounds really beautiful. You guys can just hear those nice warm tones vibrating from the guitar. Just really spatial. I really like this setting quite a bit. To change the settings, though, is honestly so easy, it'll actually just trip you out. A lot of things offer complication, but the DC offers very simple, intuitive design. You simply just start turning the knobs. The DC will start blinking. hit the button again and now we've programmed the A channel to a different setting. Let's switch over to B and let's do something a little different over there. I'm going to set all the settings back to flat. And like you said before, there are four different modes to the Joyo pedal. Let's begin to dial through those alter the settings as we go. Number one is copy. You guys can hear that, that's really beautiful. Number two is analog. We'll make some tone adjustments, I'll adjust the timing and the mix. Adjust the feedback ever so slightly. You gotta be very careful with the feedback knob, otherwise it'll sound really bad. That's the one knob of the trigger pedal you gotta be careful of. The rest of them, pretty, really good to work with. 
Next is modulation. So that's it, Gary. Thanks for all your playing, sir. Uh, what do you think? Do you liking that pedal? I love it. I know. Really, really, really good. It's really easy to set up. Light just blinks. You turn it, hit it again. Your pedal set up. Two settings. What could be better? This thing's about 60 bucks. We'll have a link below where you guys can purchase one or get one for yourself if you are so interested. Thanks for watching One Foot Production. We'll see you back here on the channel.